Hey Wargamers, welcome back to the channel, Death From Above Wargaming. I'm Aaron. Tom. <laughs> and we're back. We're uh, back. <laughs> wow, uh, it's always a good time with Tom in the studio. Always a good time. I can barely keep a straight face. <laughs> uh, but we're, we're here doing a deep dive on the uh, Inner Sphere support lines. We just did yeah. the Clan Support Star. We did. We got a trend going. Lots of support. This one, I it's the proverbial think, jock strap of the inner sphere. <laughs> and I was gonna say, this jock strap is like a stars and strike jock strap. If we're talking about jock straps, yes, yeah, absolutely. This is this is. The I money think it's maker. got some yeah, killer classics. Mech. Yeah, classics. Strong mech. Yeah, it's just great. Let's, Cyclops, can we get the thug, thug, dragon, spider. I'm excited to look at the thug again. I remember really liking that. Oh, on the such a great mech. Such a great. Um, you right. wanna open it? Uh, I will. But guys, stay tuned. All right. Just Tom, take a breath. Thug. Thug. We'll be right Thug. back. We're back. Tom's opening. Can't wait. So excited. I've only got three of these uh, these sculpts what in, in Ironwind. Uh, the thug. thug? I don't yeah. have a thug. Um, and it wasn't a bad Ironwind sculpt, admittedly. Uh, I almost bought it, but then they announced Kickstarter, and I said, why would I, why would I do that? Yeah. Um, so anyway. Um, what do you want to say? This is like, really, this is your bread and butter. I'm not going to ruin it for you. You tell me what you want first. Let's start with the spider. Okay. All right. Uh, I loved, <clears throat> loved, loved this design. Yeah, when, when we, we first looked at it. it. Yeah. Uh, I still do. Um, it's like, again, business up front, party out back. I, I'm like not that impressed looking at it at the front, and then I, my mind literally cannot handle looking at it from <laughs> Whoa! Like, you know what I love about this it's Mac? so good. Yeah. You know what I love about this Mac? I was looking at this after... Um, it and the Piranha could like dock with each other almost. <laughs> right? How many... How have many... a battle for supremacy. Yeah. Well, no, I mean, like the 12 chest lasers that Piranha has, like, you could probably literally, ins they could get stuck together. Inside the jump jet force yeah. of the... Two, four, six, eight. It's only got eight. Some, some, some weird... Fourteen. Some weird fan fiction right there. Uh, I what I love slash, right? about the <laughs> about the spider guys is, is not that. I love how Stats. aerodynamic it looks. Mm. It is built for speed. Yeah. Okay. I can see that. Um, everything from the head to the way the chest is angled to the shoulders... Yeah, uh, it just like it wants to be running. It wants to be running. This, this puppy moves running. fast. It flies mm. far, right? It jumps far. There's a lot of really it cool It can stuff. jump 16, right? Uh, well, 16 in Alpha Strike, 8 if you're playing Classic. Well, yeah. 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 Or 1 to 1 Which in like, is Destiny. Right? Nuts it's, it's, nuts it's nuts. It's really nuts. nuts um, and some of the later Ill Clan era or Dark Age era variants of the Spider are really, really good. Dude, yeah. Um, what is it? What is it outfitted with in terms of weapons? So I believe, oh, I, I look, believe stock. It's two medium lasers. I was gonna say, looking at it, it's one one zero. Yeah, it's just two medium lasers. Two, two, but again, zero. it's a thirty ton mech. Um, I don't know. I that, mean, if they're me mediums, I think are a great weapon. I, I'm not gonna discount the mediums. Fantastic weapon. Yeah. Um, it is the it is the staple. For some reason, of I feel like weapons. when I feel like I hit with them, you know, oh, it's yeah, weird. They're you know, great and weapons. they're good. So it's six hundred twenty two battle value. I'm on Sarna. Over here, Sarna.net, a great resource. Um, six hundred twenty-two battle value for this thing. In, in wow, that's thirty all. twenty-five config. I mean, I that's would, dude. I would bring an entire phalanx of them. Just have them like shoot. It's like said everywhere. It's just it flying. would look like it that. Like that. Yes, yeah. the scene. I know exactly. They're what actually you're probably about. all spiders. That's funny. I and mean, you could get it for the low, low price of six thousand. You get ten of them for six thousand BV. It's a lot. I mean, that's insane. Yeah. You could do so much. They could be everywhere. Swarming. Just swarm. A spider swarm. <laughs> just jumping and swarming everywhere. Speaking of which, check yeah. out the old spider. So this is the uh, Alpha Strike plastic. Oh. Oh, yeah. The goofy base. Which? Why did they do the bases like that? I don't even want to Call ask. Right. Um, Tell me. What I, what's with the glider on its back? It's got a glider. This thing has like an array, like a thruster array. This yeah. guy... He doesn't have that. Actually, he doesn't even have jump jets. Yeah, he's got like oh, a he's got single, one. <laughs> like a single rocket. Like this guy's like, bro, where are your jump jets? Like, yeah, shut he's up. like, my son shut made up, it. Kyle. Yeah, <laughs> my son made it in his science class. It uses one, of, you know. Oh my god! Yeah, this one is this almost looks switch. like a prototype, right? And look at the size difference, right? I mean, it looks like too it got, small. Yeah. 
What's Two weird, step. too, is it literally looks like a guy wearing a helmet. Like, it doesn't look right. I agree. And, and like, it almost looks like a wingsuit, kind of. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, he's got awesome wing winglets. Oh, no, they're not. I don't like it. Never mind. I, I thought it. he had cool winglets on his arm. Well, they're on the back. But, yeah, I don't like yeah. it. Yeah. If they were on the arms, <clears> I was like, wait a minute. I'll give him some credit. The redesign, A++++. plus 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 One plus, of my favorite plus. redesigns. Spider yep. is fantastic. Dope. And I'm going to give him a dope. I'll give him, give him one dopesicle. One dope. Uh, I will tell you this. When I think Pipe about dope. the spider, and when you look at the wasp, the stinger, the valkyrie, you talked about this in the last video, right? There's that continuum. They all kind of look the same. Yeah. This thing looks totally different, right? right. Yeah. It, it like, re, it's like you, I just like, want to drive that yeah, thing. Yeah, and, and you if know? you saw that thing on the battlefield, too, you'd be like, what just, like, what? <laughs> what just? <laughs> yeah. What just happened? Yeah. Uh, it's a pss, pss, pss. yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot they're on the chest, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> I can imagine like pure wedding and something. Like, yeah, just, just, like, just spraying dancing. beams of laser. Uh, We're gonna go dragon, thug, cyclops. Okay, so dragon next. Dragon. You I want to tell you something. Mech. This redesign, in my opinion, is fantastic. We made the joke in the unboxing. It's like inline eight cylinder, like the big long torso with this yeah. engine. Um. I love everything about this mech. I was not a big fan of the old one. I know you Is think it's goofy one? looking. That's the old one over there. We'll get to it. But let's talk about this first. Yeah. Here's what I love. It is a very goofy looking mech. It looks I like, just yeah. love how squat and thick it is, right? Like, again, this is one of those things. It's like one of these does not look like the others. This thing is so unique looking. Yeah. Every mech in this box is so unique looking, and I love that. Um... The antenna, right? Just the the way the arms look like they move and rotate on the gear. I, yeah, that's exactly that. what I was trying to. That's what I was trying to point to. Yeah. Um, you know the heat sinks, right? The you know the the hydraulics. Just there's so much detail in this thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm it reminds pleased. me of like very pleased. What was it? Bebop from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, right? From the cartoon, not who did you say? Movie. Who did you say Shredder, Shredder was? Yeah, yeah. Um, Which what mech was Shredder? The Gosshawk. The Goshawk, yeah. Gosh, G Goshawk. G Golly Goshawk, Vapor Eagle. But yeah, he does. Like, you could have the nose ring. It kind of looks like a warthog, like a pig we head. Should, we should paint. We should pay somebody to, like, paint. Like, we should like find a... TNT a... thing? I should look it up. That'd we need... Really so you think that's Bebop or Rocksteady? Rocksteady was the rhinoceros. It was It was probably Rocksteady. Then. Yeah. You're we right. need a Bebop. Who, yeah. Which mech looks like Bebop? The thug! Oh my god! Done. It's done. Done. We got We're it. Doing it. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 cool for its uniqueness and its goofiness. Like again, if I'm in the mind of like, what are my goofy mechs? Love it. Um, if I was like objectively looking at it as a design, I'm like, that is not good. <laughs> is but <laughs> heads um, are gonna roll if you're if you're the coordinator. Yeah. What did you design <laughs> me? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> yeah. This not acceptable. Okay. I I love it though. You, I mean, I know I don't think it's that goofy. In fact, I think. It's realistic. I, I, I love it. I mean, I'm not going to say I don't like it. I love so. the LRM-10. Pull out the old one. I want to see the old one. Oh, yeah, the old one. I see you got it off, off camera there. Yeah, I mean... Look at the shoulders on this one compared to the shoulders on this one. I mean, just look at that arm. Yeah, and I <laughs> reposed it, too. I think the stock pose, it's pointing straight down. Lights like, great. Oh, I, yeah, I, I've seen that, Mac. Yeah. Um... Yeah, again, I mean, look at the very legs. Very true. Right, look at the legs then, and on, on the old versus the legs on the new. Just, <laughs> you literally couldn't walk with them. Yeah. yeah that's pretty funny. Yeah. Um, yeah, I would say, like, it's it's cool because it's not super far off of the old one. Like, you Still can understand how they the, got there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. There's they lineage. Kept, like, yeah, there's lineage. I love the the the, uh, the loadouts too, and I like when it becomes the Grand Dragon and it gets a you know PPC and an ER PPC later, I believe. Um, now, some, the, is the Grand Dragon a different chassis or the same thing? Just it's like the, way outfitted. It's the same thing. Uh, it's literally the same mech, just outfitted differently. Yeah. And, so and, if you had two of them, you can make one a Grand Dragon. Correct. And yeah, they don't actually look different. What, the Grand not Dragon even weapons or anything? You, you glue a mustache on the front of it, right. and it becomes right the big like the, the old the old. Oh my god! Yeah, the the, the Chinese like New Year Dragon. You know, got yeah, the mustache. Yeah. That's what you do. Um, love this mech. Great mech. Can't wait to and paint it up in my uh, in my Draconis Combine colors, and then also I have two of these. I'm gonna replace the uh, the Capellan 
the Capellan one. Someone made a comment. They said Capellans would never have a dragon because they never fought with, you know, the combine that much. They wouldn't really have the opportunity for the salvage. Salvage. I say nonsense. Yeah, but the mercenaries might have one. Yeah, my mercs yeah. might have one that they that they downed. Also, they might have traded with, you know. Yeah. Who knows? So remind me, the next mech you wanted was the thug. Thug. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Um. Mm. Again, here we go. You can start off because these are yours. These are your babies. I'm so thrilled with this. Yeah. I, you know, the one thing I really do like about Hushed the thug tones. The one thing I love about the thug is the lowdown. It's so elegant and simple. Two PPCs, two SRM sixes, right? That's the Yeah, I love the design of the SRM sixes. Um, Just the little right, the like little balls or whatever they are. Yeah, the bubble bubbles. Little bubble launchers, right? Um almost looks like they like kinda like like almost like ro like rotary, yeah. right? Um I've seen some helicopters that have like gun pods like that. Yeah. That really yeah, really cool. I love the cockpit. I mean the Again, you know, not uh, not trying to fanboy too much, but the design on this thing is just really spot on. Like, the angles, right? It almost evokes, like, a muscle car feel to me, you know? Yeah, um, I can see that. And I, I just, I love, I mean, you know, it, it looks thuggish. It does. It looks right. like you could brawl. Like, I mean, it's definitely hiring the hatchet man to rob the centurion. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. it's this is this is the chief thug yeah. right here. And then if you were to chase him, you'd end up with him and be like, "What? Yeah. What, what are you going to do about some it? Some of this? You yeah. Want some of this? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, just the stance on it, right? It's not like doing some goofy run. He's just like, "Come at me, yeah. bro." How fast? He's not very fast either. No. Yeah. Just a normal, you know, four six. Uh, does not jump. Right. Just standard run of the mill. Um, so. Let me see one. Really, one. really love it. I do love, too, it has two cockpits, right? Kind of. I think that up there is part of the cockpit, and then that awesome that, kind of... I mean, the way it's painted here, right? Isn't that... Is that supposed to be a cockpit up there? No, I think... I mean, I think that... Flip it over, because there's a different paint job there. I think yeah. you can see it better on that one. That might be, like, glass up there, but it's definitely all part of the same... That's interesting. But there, they don't even have it... They have it painted as part of the body. Yeah. We'll have to look at more of that. I'm curious to see if... Because I, I was like, oh, t uh, like a two-layered... Like like, like, like a, a double-decker bus? Yeah, or like a, a loft apartment cockpit. He's like, oh, the, yeah, I just go up and rest in the top. That's where the like, toilet is. Yeah, yeah. Next um, level toilets. We know this. Yes, they do. These guys, they hold it. <laughs> they hold it like real men. Like real men. Uh, okay, and then last, Cyclops. but definitely not least. So we... What I'm, try, I'm trying to think. So we, we had talked... Maybe it was me and Kevin... There were a couple mechs where we said this is like, you know, best redesign, right? Um, and I can't remember what other mech was in that category. I mean, the spider obviously I mean, the was spider, one. spider, yeah. But there was another one we were like really blown away with. Uh, I can't remember it off the top of my head, but I will say this is another one. Yeah, you really like this That one. I'm thrilled with. Yeah. I'm thrilled with it. Yeah. Um, I really like the old... Sculpt too. We talked about it. I know you it. don't like it. We talked about it. I love the helmet. Um, it's like not very battle. T it's what's weird about it is it does not look like a BattleTech robot. Like that head. <laughs> there's nothing else like that that I can think of. No. It looks more very like some alien. kind of yeah sci-fi thing. Yeah. Um, this looks a lot more like BattleTech, but you still get that. It still has again the sort of rounded cockpit that's like a Cyclops eye. Mm -hmm. Um, this is one of the mechs that I said was like office furniture or office equipment. Come right? on, it does not. Not in a bad way. Again, not in a bad way. It, it does just, not look like office equipment. I mean, it does. It's, it's like you, it's just like a box on legs kind of with like a head thrown on. So the thing that I love about that, I just actually painted one of these in Atrium Knights colors. So on the paint yes. bench right now, just awaiting its final wash. Yeah, and, and if I'm brave enough, maybe some decals. But uh, yeah, I love the way it's like stacked up and gets... Like up like that. It's cool. I was gonna say when you wash these things, there are so many nooks and crannies, and there's so much, it just really brings the whole model to life. Um, it's incredible. The thing that I love about it uh, is you know the the command module on the back that's supposed to like you know it's like a detachable like you know command thing. Um, okay. It makes sense. It looks like it. Yeah, and you know the weapons are tangible like i mean that is a autocannon you know yeah. 
Um, I love the, the LRM bank, right? I mean, everything is just really, really well done. Yeah. And I, See, this is an example of like the bolted on everything kind of mech. Like yeah. it looks like it's components assembled around like if you took all that off, he'd have like just like a real skinny frame, you yep. know? Yeah. With a bunch of like bolt holes where you can just like, yeah, I love it. Great mech, great design. Um, um, as much as I like that, just as a general aesthetic thing, so much better. So much better. The, I mean, it's large in the correct way, because that was always a big mech. 90 tons. Yeah, I mean, that thing. Like, this does gotta, not look like 90 tons to me. Yeah. No. I mean, it's a joke. Yeah. I mean, it's too skinny, right? It's too, it's too not tall, thing. it's just too skinny, yeah. Yeah. And it's a shame. That, that particular Cyclops model was the first metal mech that I'd ever bought. I bought the big plastic box set, and I bought the Cyclops, and I was like, it's got a special place in my heart, that particular mini. I mean, it's a great mini. It's a great mini, but times have changed. I can see why you bought it. Times have changed, guys. Um, yeah. The new, the new Cyclops is by far, I mean, something really special, I think. I agree. I, uh, again, love, love the detail. And even, even if you look, um, pull it out of the frame there. If you look at the back of the head, Right. Oh, like another Again, example. Again, just yeah. could be could be like we talked about this at the glass hopper, right? Could have just glazed over, but instead they added this extra level of detail. Um, it's just very cool, you know, really well done. So let's talk about the lance as a whole, yeah. shall we? Yeah, beefy, uh, scary lance for sure. If you were to put this together, um, yeah. You, you can know, run if we, this. If we go small to large, right? Yeah. Scaling again, right on the money, in my opinion. Absolutely, yeah. This thing looks like it's half the size of that one. Not just from a height perspective, but from a bulk perspective, too. And I yeah. love that they did that. It's not just like... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah. Right Sometimes there. they're beefier and bigger. Yeah. Sometimes they're taller. Yeah. Very good. I, I mean, it's, it's fantastic. Um, but you're right. From a playability perspective, you've got a lot of really, really good... Max in here, you got missiles, right? You've got some PPCs, speed. Um, you've got some auto cannons, you've got a little bit of speed, right? You could definitely buy this and play it out of the box as a good starter force. Yeah, and you'd actually get a pretty good range of like play style too. Again, mm -hmm. like, speedy, but gotta be careful to right. just like tanking and also bruising. Right, and the, the Dragon's fast. It's a 5.8. Yeah. It's not slow. I, yeah. um, for a 60 ton, it's one of the faster ones. And these are both 4.6, so for assault mechs, they're fairly quick for assault mechs, yeah. I mean, especially so the not, Cyclops. So you're not dealing with that, like, 3. Huge whatever. speed gap, yeah. right, where, like, you have, like, a 2.3 and an 8.12, right? Right. So I agree with you. I think this is that, a really well designed. That's hard to play. Or not hard to play, but it, I think you need to be a more experienced player to handle those speed imbalances. Because uh -huh. otherwise, you're going to get your fast guys blown out of the water. Blown out of the water. And then they're going to get ganged up on. It's so. true. Um, a plus. Noose. Yeah. A plus plus. I love it. I, all great designs. Very excited about this one. Um, yeah. Like okay. I said, I'm already painting the Cyclops. And it's coming out, in my opinion, coming out fantastic. Not the best painter, but it, I mean, all the detail makes it easy. You put a couple washes on it, everything really comes to life. They're easy to dry brush, too. Um, you know, because they got all the different angles and the cuts. And right, good so sharp angles. Highlight. Yeah. Um, you can highlight very easily. Um, so really cool stuff. But that wraps up the uh, the Inner Sphere Support Lance. So, uh, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, subscribe if you have not done so already. As you know, we're over on Patreon. Uh, $1, $5, $10 if you want to get in on the action. Actually, Tom, we have a new veteran challenge happening soon. It's a true story, guys. I don't believe it. Uh, it is a painting... And storytelling challenge. Check this out. Okay. It's got to be new minis. So new either minis. Game of Armor Combat, uh, Beginner Box, the Clan Invasion Box, or anything from Wave 1 or Wave 2. Any of the new plastics, including the Elementals, and the Shalone Fighter, I was asked. Any Ooh. of the new plastics. you got to put together a co like a unit. A star, a lance, a level 2, whatever. All right? Okay. You paint it. And then you write a little narrative about the unit, whatever you want. Whether it's like a short, like a short, you know, I think it's like 250 or 300 words max. 
Like maybe it's like a quick scene from a battle they were in. Maybe it's a, a dossier of one of the pilots. Maybe it's unit history or whatever, right? Whatever they want to just kind of embody what this unit is. And not like necessarily like, this is about the Iridani Light Horse. No, like it's like this lance. Like yeah, these yeah. these dudes these and pilots, dudettes, right? These mechs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, that will be really fun. We have two fantastic judges. The man himself, Colonel Matthew Steiner. I was going to say, I, the, only, the first Judging. thing I thought was like, you can't let him be in it because he'll probably win it. He's such a good painter. He's, yeah, he's a very good painter. Uh, and he's he's going to be judging the painting. Yeah. Great. That, he, yeah, he'll be a great judge. One of our other patrons, uh, Faith McCloskey, she's actually an author. Uh, she was in the, um, what's a little Battletech magazine? Shrapnel. She, oh. she wrote, wrote a piece in Shrapnel. Loved it. Uh, she is going to be judging on the, the lore side. The okay. Lore side. So it. we have experts in both literature and a painting. Man, that's going to be fun. It's going to be great. I'm excited about it. I'm excited to see what comes in. I want to enter it. Uh, we are not going to launch it officially until all this stuff is available for retail. Because we want to make sure that people that didn't get in the Kickstarter have a chance to get their hands on some plastics. Yeah. So, so we'll still see. Have time. Yeah. Still have time. Uh, you know, it might be November if that's what it takes. But we're definitely going to wait until everybody has an opportunity to get some plastics, and then we'll give some people time to paint and write the story. So it should be really cool. Man, this would be a fun one to write a story about. Yeah, that'd be really cool. So anyway, uh, so that's what that's that's the kind of stuff we do over on Patreon, guys. So um, anyway, if you are looking to get some max, some dice, some books, uh, anything, shrapnel, I think everything. Life advice. Life advice. Aries games and minis. Uh, just email Derek. <laughs> just be like, Derek, I need life advice. <laughs> Help. <laughs> <laughs> My wife doesn't love me. Help. What do I do? My wife doesn't love me because I spend too yeah, much yeah. on Battletech minis. He's like, um, spend more on Battletech minis. He's like, let me help you with that. <laughs> Buy her some Battletech minis. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but Aries Games and Minis, uh, great prices, awesome service. Derek is truly a great guy. So, yeah. um, And shipping's fantastic, too. I mean, Always like, I don't know how he does it. He, yeah. Derek is... Amazon, I've heard, is concerned because Derek ships faster. <laughs> I've heard. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff is calling Derek right now. Jeff yeah. Bezos. He's like, Derek, how do you do it? Derek, how do you... I don't, I don't know how he talks. Derek, how do you do it? He's got like a stupid cowboy hat on. Didn't oh we have a... Con God. Was that Kevin making fun of him or was that you the last time? I don't know. I constantly make fun of him wearing a cowboy hat, I have to say. Like, you're... The richest person now, all of a sudden, he's like a Yahoo cowboy. <laughs> like, y'all in Texas, y'all. Like, get out of here. Sorry. I didn't Elon Musk move Tesla to Texas? Yeah, he didn't start wearing a cowboy hat. Though. He didn't. I like yeah. Elon Musk. I like Elon Musk. He's the man. <laughs> if I have to pick between the two, I'm, uh, yeah. I'm an Elon Musk Elon guy. for president, for sure. He has a McLaren F1. I mean, It's like my favorite car. Yeah, so He's got taste. He's got taste, guys. I always like, I saw Grimes in concert. The basement of a church. Before she was popular. I mean, this was back when she was playing out of a boombox. Like, this is old school. I was there. Me but and Elon. He was there, too. <laughs> yeah. He's like, yeah. Back in his PayPal days. Back in his PayPal That's days. That's funny. He's like, one day, I'm going to marry that girl. Yeah. And you're like, yeah, right, bro. Yeah, right, bro. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Anyway, all right. Wow, that was a digression. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Cowboy yeah, hats. So, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, we're going to do, uh, what do we got? we got five more left. Five more boxes to go through, guys. And then we're done with the unboxing, and we're going to be digging into a, a campaign. Yeah. But until then, thanks so much for watching. And, of course, stay tuned. Always great stuff coming from Death From Above Wargaming. Have a good night.